Ari, it is five good comic book covers from Marvel Comics. I usually try to make sure they are DC ones, but it didn't work out that way this time. So, five covers here. Actually, I nearly had one from Archie Comics. I bet that would have blown your socks off. There is no theme for this. It is just five covers I saw in my collection and thought... I like them. Dairy Devil 163 and an Ank Miller cover. This is the classic issue where Dairy Devil fights Hulk and its cover is just as classic as the story. Of course, if you've never seen it before, none of it is classic to you personally. Very good cover. I don't have a lot to say about it. It is a great image and not much needs to be said about it. One of my favourite Avengers stories is this Marky Mark one with Charlotte Witch and The Flash. I used to have a reprint of it and I loved that version more because it cut out all the unrelated subplot bits and added the page at the back with Mr Magnets. Like after this page you would turn and then there was a page of Mr. Magnets on his space asteroid looking at a photo of Charlotte Witch and the Flash's mom. But that's not in here. That excellent twist isn't here. This cover is by Jason Byrne and Charlotte Witch has been possessed and she is holding the Avengers and her brother Capduff. Another memorable cover here. When Kazar was selling badly before Greg Batman gave it a shot in the arm, there was this story where they got the art artists to do covers. Jimmy Lee did issue 13. Todd McFarland did 14. And then Michael Elboy did this one, issue 15. And I think of the three covers, this is the best one. It is less of a generic image of Kazar than the other two. And it's even got the bad guy, Santa, on it. You have to ride with Michael Elboy's style to like it, or any of his work, but I think it is good. I was reading some the other day and I thought, I kind of like Firestorm. So here is the cover to Thor 306 by Neil Pollard, featuring Thor and Firestorm posing for the camera. After just dismissing two covers of Kazar for being generic poster images, now I am including a Thor one Guilty of the same thing. This cover says that it is Firestorm's final battle. But that is a lie. He has about a dozen battles after this issue. It is Todd McFarland, as previously mentioned in cover number three in this video. This is Spider-Man Tales 224. And I am just pulling that number out of my arse. I can't even see it from this far away. But I am feeling a bit smug because I think I am right. Spider-Man fighting Dan Slot, Except Spider-Man has been defeated by Dan Slot and his metal spaghetti arms. I like this cover. It is a good cover by Todd McFarland. That is that. Five good comic book covers. You can count them up and there is five. Of this selection, which was your favourite or least favourite? If you had to buy one of these comics based on the cover, which would it be? I have already bought all five, so my answer is redundant. And instead, I'll give them seven thumbs up. 